If you are a dog owner, chances are you already know a little bit about the dangers of parvo. It's a highly contagious disease that can lead to vomiting, fever, and eventually even death. I'm joined by Dr. Janice Price. You have a little bit of advice for us to kind of, first of all, avoid parvo altogether, but then who's kind of most acceptable? First of all, how do we avoid our pets getting this really dangerous disease? Well, first of all, parvo is a virus, which means that antibiotics are not going to fix it. It, will, it has to run its course. The pets that are at risk are dogs under one year of age and any dog that hasn't been properly vaccinated. The treatment for parvo involves hospitalization, fluids, injections, and it's very expensive. It can be $500 the first day, $250 a day after oh, that, yikes. and no guarantee that your pet will survive. About 80% of pets will die of parvo if they are not treated fast. The good news is if you vaccinate your puppies, the chances of them getting parvo are very, very slim. And also avoid high-risk areas. If you have a puppy that isn't completed with this vaccine series, don't go to the dog park. Don't go to PetSmart. Don't go to places where other dogs go. And ask your friends if they've been to the pound or the shelter and make them wash up before they get around your puppy. What are some of the signs and symptoms that you can kind of recognize to know that this is starting? Because is it one of the things that the, the earlier you catch it, the better off you'll be? Or? Absolutely. The earlier you start treating the puppy with parvo, the better your chances are of getting him through it. The first symptom is the puppy just seems lethargic. He seems off. Sometimes he's so lethargic the owner might think the pet has been poisoned. And then, then he will quit eating. He commonly will start throwing up uh, just time after time, and then the bloody stool starts. Now, is there a particular breed of dog that's more susceptible to this? We talked about places, but what about breeds? Certain breeds are overrepresented. Pit bulls are one of them. Pit bulls seem to be very susceptible to parvo. Rottweilers and Dobermans also are overrepresented, and any puppy who is allowed to have intestinal parasites or isn't fed a high-quality meal or otherwise isn't properly taken care of has additional risk factors to get parvo. Now, once you, a dog actually contracts parvo, how long before it's potentially a life-threatening situation? I've seen puppies die of parvo in 12 hours. Oh, that is so sad. And they can be contagious for 21 to 30 days after surviving wow. the infection. So the only thing to do at this point really to prevent it is the vaccine. Vaccinate. Vaccinate, vaccinate, vaccinate. Start at six to eight weeks of age and make sure your puppy gets vaccinated every three to four weeks, three or four times. Very cool. Well, thank you so much. It's my pleasure. We really appreciate your time here. If you have a sick little pet, bring them to the Windmill Animal Hospital off of Windmill Circle. The number to set up an appointment is there on your screen. They're even open on Saturdays. All their information is also located on their Facebook page as well as on BigCountryHomePage.com forward slash KTAB.